In this video, I have some example solves pulling together some of the tips and techniques taught in this module. Okay, welcome to the advanced example solves video. In this video, I'll be doing two uh, example solves on the Megaminx and I'll be going reasonably quickly. Um, I'll be using the Westland method with my personal color order, which is actually a fixed color order. But because Megaminx is essentially, you know, a lot of F2L pairing and block building, there are of course many different tips and tricks that you can probably take out of these example solves, no matter what color order or method that you use. So I'm gonna start out by looking for my white edge pieces to form the star and I have a reasonably easy case here. So I've got these two, which when I insert them by doing RL prime like that, they'll be solved correctly relative to one another, but not relative to this one. Um, then I've got this one back here. So probably what I'm gonna do is do something like U prime, R2 prime to insert this one correctly relative to this one. Then I'll do something like U2, RL prime, and then U. And then my last um, star edge is back here. So I can do something like R2 prime F R2 like that. And I guess I'll remember that I have this white, red and dark green uh, corner in this position already. Now I'm gonna start out by looking for my F2L pairs. And I guess around this vicinity, there isn't very much that I see, but when I rotate this way, I see I've got this corner and this edge and this corner and this edge. So I can pair these two up by just doing an L2 prime like that back here and then insert them by doing R2 prime U R2 like that. And then I can do these two, so this corner and this edge, by doing something like U L prime U L U prime R U R prime. Now I notice when I was doing that, I was kind of looking over here to see if there was anything good. And I see I've got this edge piece, which needs to go down here. So I can take that out, move it over here, and then do something like R2 U prime R prime U R2 prime to insert it. And then for my next F2L pair, I've got this corner and this edge, so I can move it up and then solve those like so. And then I've got my last F2L pair here. So I can do something like R U2 R prime to pair it up, do a U2 and then L U2 L prime to insert it into this back position there. Now I'm onto my F2L, um, my second color, sorry. And I notice I've got this edge so I can do something like that because this white, this yellow and green one is actually way back here. So it's not great for us to do. And I also notice I've got, I want to solve this F2L pair and this edge and this corner are right here. So we can solve them like by doing R prime U2 prime R and then do F2 prime R prime F2 to insert them there. Now what I'm going to do is before I insert this one, these two are close to, close to one another. So I can pair them up like so and then try and figure out what to do with this edge and this F2L pair. Probably what I can do is move that one over there, do something like L prime U2 R prime F, and then insert this last one. Then for my final yellow F2L pair, what I'm gonna do is actually rotate over to this direction because my next color after yellow is purple. And I see that I, if I do an F prime, I can solve these two just using R and U moves into this back slot here. So I can do U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, U two prime, R, like that. Then my blue and my purple and uh, light blue edge is back here. So I can move it over and insert it. Then for my next F2L pair, I'm gonna do this corner and this edge. So the purple, light, blue, and orange. Then do a U, insert it into the back there. Then, I would do this F2L pair here. So purple, dark green, and light blue. And the next color that I'm going to solve in my color order is dark green. And I've got this, uh, this dark green edge there. So I can do that one. Then I'll solve these two into this back slot here. R prime U2 R, U prime, R2 prime, U R2. And then solve this last F2L pair down here. Um, as I'm doing that, I see a few different things. So I've got this F2L, this, this pair here on red. So what I can do is shift this one out of the way, do something like U2, R prime FR. And then I've got that, now I've got this block. 
So I'm being a little bit more flexible. I'm not necessarily solving this edge corner edge. I'm solving this block because it was easy. And now I'm gonna solve this pair down here to this corner and this edge. And then I'm gonna take this pair out and insert it like that. The next thing I'll do is orient my edges like so, and then I'll orient my corners. Okay, after I've done my OLL, I'm looking around to see um, where I can uh, permute two edges, and I notice that if I do a U prime, that permutes these, this edge and this edge back here, and what I can do with the remaining three is probably just do a Y2 rotation and then do my edge permutation algorithm, like so. And then for my last three corners, I just have a three corner cycle. So this one to here to here. So I can either use commutators or I can do my three corner cycle algorithm. Like so. Okay, for this next example solve, I'm going to firstly find my star edges. So I've got this one back here, this one, this one, this one, and this one back here. Um, and I kind of noticed that perhaps it might be worth creating like an extended star. So I've got this one, this uh, white and blue, and this block here and this edge here, as well as this one. Um, so what I can probably do is insert these two edges first by doing something like u r prime, and then u2 r prime u prime u. Then what I'll do is um, probably do something like B prime, U2 prime, F, and then U prime, R2 prime. So that solves this block and this one. Then fortunately, I've got this pair paired up for me and this, um, F2, this star edge here. So I can do something like U prime, U2 prime, R prime, U2, R, U prime. And then instead of moving this one all the way over to somewhere over here, and then inserting it, what I can do is just do something like uh, R2 prime, and then to preserve this edge, I'll do that, and then do a U2. So that's like in a double extended star, I suppose. And now after that, I see this corner and, and this edge over here, so I can pair them up by doing something like F prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U prime to move it over to this position, to this face, and then insert it like so. And then probably do this corner and this edge. So I can do something like R prime, U2 prime, R prime, and then insert it into this back left slot by doing L2, U2, L2 prime. And then I've got this uh, edge back here in this corner. So it's kind of a tricky case, but we can do something like U2 prime, R2. And then we'll need to move it over to this face and then insert it. Now, before I insert this next edge on my yellow uh, S2L, um, I'm going to do an L U prime F and then R prime. Then what I can do is probably this edge and this corner because I can do do it in two gener uh, just using two generator moves. So just U prime R prime U two R U prime R U R prime. And then this is actually a really nice case as well back here. It's just U prime B prime U prime to set them up to a three move insert then I've got this corner and this edge, which is also quite nice. As I was doing that, I noticed I had this corner and this edge, which can be inserted by doing R prime, U prime, R two prime, like that. I also noticed these two in their slot. So now when I insert this purple edge and go on to solve my purple face, I've got this, these two right here for me as well. And then I'm looking for the uh, dark green and cream edge, which is over here. I can do like that. Then I've got this corner, this edge and this corner. And I can also solve this corner and this edge just using R and U moves. R prime U, R U, R prime U, two prime, R two, U. Then I can solve this corner and this edge into this slot down here. Like so. Then this edge and this corner. Like so. And then I can solve this last F2L pair as well as orient my uh, last layer edges by doing L prime U L and then R U R prime. So then I need to orient my corners and I've got this case. So I just do a soon and then 
and seam like that. And now I've got these two edges permuted. So, and I've got this case where the edges need to be uh, cycled clockwise, uh, sorry, anti-clockwise like that. And then I've got my last three corner case. So it's just like, like that, and then we're done.